Hey, I'm Jamie with Stonemaier Games, and today I'm going to talk about my favorite mechanism in a game called Chicken. Comes in this, little, in this little case here. I was a Kickstarter backer of this, but I think it is available online now, and maybe from retailers as well. This is a light two to eight player. I don't know. I kind of kind of call it a party game, um, even though each player is taking an individual turn, which you often don't see in party games. But in Chicken, it's a custom dice game where you're rolling a bunch of dice, and it is somewhat of a push your luck game. Here are my dice down in here. Try to show them on camera a little bit. I've got them way down in there. I'm not shaking out. There we go. So here are a few of the custom dice and some player tokens in there. It is slightly a push your luck game in that you are allowed to re-roll some of your dice once per turn. Um, and so there's a little bit of pushing your luck in there. But in general, the game has a little twist on push your luck in that you are by a choice that you make that I'll describe in a second, you are essentially pushing your opponent's luck. So in chicken, um, you are past dice on your turn. You're past some dice. And these dice might be the standard white dice. They might be the, the slightly more risky but higher payoff yellow dice. Here's the, the white die. Um, there's also the yellow die. Or they might be the riskiest orange dice. And you take all the dice that you've been passed. So you're going to have a big handful bigger than this, especially if you have these colored dice. You'll always have the four white dice. And you'll roll those dice, and you're hoping to see chickens, and you're hoping not to see foxes. And if you see any of the eggs, and this is tied to my favorite mechanism, if you see any eggs, you hatch them. You hatch those eggs. Uh, regardless of whether or not it's your original roll or your re-roll, you hatch those into new dice. So if I have a white die and that white die shows an egg, then I will take one of the yellow or orange dice, um, yellow dice if, that's, if there are yellow dice available. If there are not, you take orange dice from the middle and you add it to your collection of dice. And that's when you decide if you want to re-roll or not. And you're going to re-roll any of the dice that you rolled that had an egg on it. You'll re-roll any of the dice that you've gained. Um, and you'll re-roll any blank dice. You have to re-roll all those dice. Any chickens and foxes that you have all remain on the table. And again, you're trying to get as many chickens as possible to gain points, and you're trying to avoid rolling three total foxes. So it's possible that you get those dice, you get uh, four white dice, you get the very basic version, and it's possible to roll three foxes right away and just bust. That does happen. This is a light, short, party-style game. Um, but most likely you're not going to do that. Most likely you're going to roll a few chickens, um, maybe a few blanks, maybe a few eggs, and then that's where you have the choice. Do you re-roll more to try to get more points, more chickens, but risk busting and not getting anything? But the twist comes in with this hatching mechanism and how you are ending up pushing your opponent's luck because you have all these dice. You've rolled all these dice, and really I should get all the dice out so I can see what a giant handful of dice looks like. My opponent passes me these dice. I must roll them, or I can chicken out. I can say... No, you've passed me too many dice. I'm worried that I'm just going to bust. I'm going to chicken out. I lose a point. I return all yellow and orange dice to the middle, and I just roll the white dice. Or I can say, I'm going for it. And in our, we played twice the other day uh, with four players, and we always just went for it. We rolled all the dice that we had and that, that were passed to us. We rolled all those dice, and uh, we proceeded to decide to hatch some dice and to decide if we wanted to re-roll or not. And then at the end of your turn, if you haven't busted, that's when you pass all of the dice to the next player. So that's where you're not pushing your own luck anymore. You are pushing all of these dice onto the next player and forcing them to roll or forcing them to have the choice to roll or to chicken out and, uh, and to potentially bust themselves and not get anything on their turn. Um, so I love this idea that you are hatching more dice. You're, you're increasing the dice pool. You're making it better, but you're also making it riskier. And you're handing this big handful of dice to the next player who rolls it, and, and may or may not bust. Uh, that idea of, of increasing the dice pool and passing on that luck and passing on that risk to the next player feels really good. It's a lot of fun. It means that on your turn, if you haven't busted, that feels great, but it also feels great because you are retaining a pretty big dice pool or even growing that dice pool and handing it to the next player. Whereas if you bust, the dice pool is immediately reduced down to only the white dice. So if you bust, those dice go back to the middle. You kind of reset that. You're only passing the four white dice to the next player. So yeah, it's, it's, it's an interesting mechanism. And I can actually see this working really well in a cooperative game. Maybe with slightly different decision points. But the idea that, because it actually felt, it, it feels good. If you, if you don't bust, it feels good. And uh, it feels good because you're passing all, all these dice to the next player. But I think that could work in a cooperative game too, where you're, you're rolling a bunch of dice. 
If you don't bust, that's good for you, that's good for the group, and then you're passing more dice to the next player, which could be good for them, but it's also riskier for the group. I think that, that style of mechanism works for cooperative games as well. Anyway, I've talked for five minutes about a game that can sometimes take around five minutes. Um, not literally, it probably takes around 20 minutes. But uh, yeah, Chicken. I, I really enjoyed my two plays of this so far. I look forward to bringing it out at more kind of lighter, casual game nights or moments in game nights where we want something lighter or casual. I'd love to hear your thoughts if you think of another game where you're, where you're pushing the luck onto another player after you've had a really good turn. Let me know about that in the comments below. Thanks.